Hey, hey, welcome back, kids. I am Grom Beardo, and this is my YCF 190 Supermoto. Comes from the factory as a Supermoto. I made it street legal, got insurance on it. That was zero issues here in Ohio. The uh, previous owner did some work to it, put the Pro Taper bars on. I put these Bark Buster things on and some, some one finger grips that I got for free. The engine was all, is all the same. This shifter is absolute garbage. I had to weld a piece on the back of it. Like literally any shift, it would just bend. Oh, and I forgot to tighten that down. I'll get to that before I leave. They changed the sprockets and that's basically, that's kind of what the purpose of this video is today. Had a 1737, I think on the back. And I went to a 30, 35 in the back and an 18 in the front, which I had to do a little bit of clearancing. I like the YCF. I like the Daytona engine. The suspension on this bike is what is the best to me, it, especially for my fat ass. But things I don't like are uh, none of these connectors are waterproof, which is just dumb. And trust me, you ride it in the rain. I did down in Tennessee and it will run like dog shit and barely get you home. At least that's been my experience. The tires are shit for the track i guess they've been fine for me on the street everybody complains about those put some sliders on here that are just skateboard wheels it's really easy to do and cheap got my donut of course and this is off amazon fast turn signals and brake and tail i just wired it up off of a battery it's like an enduro kit a lighting kit something like that with an led light up front here that's basically it currently my favorite bike because it's the fastest and it's a small one and it just rips i'm curious how these sprockets are gonna go but uh, we shall see. It's got so much power and pulls in like first, second and all that. So I'm hoping it like tames it down a little bit and uh, get uh, increases my top speed because with the previous ones, which were a the 1737, 1737, I think I'll put the, uh, an image up on the screen. I only got up to 67 miles an hour. And it, at the top end of that, it wants to cut out like it's running out of gas. I don't know if these things have a limiter or not. Possibly do, it's a CDI box. It does have a limiter because it's got a CDI box and you hook up certain ones of these to each other, certain color wires, and that changes the uh, the rev limiter. I've got it on the lowest right now. Maybe that's why it's cutting out so when I'm going so fast, but 67 is the highest I've gotten it. I'm hoping to get quite a bit more, but hell, we'll see. Daughter's out on the dirt bike. She wants to run up the street. She loves being able to ride on the street. I think that's so cool. So they're just gonna go up to the end of the street and then I'm gonna rip down the main road. And I probably shouldn't be letting her do that, but <laughs> fuck it, we're in the country. So we're gonna run up the street. I'll have her wait at the end and then I'll run up and try and get a top speed out of this for you guys and see what it does. Twitchy. Still fast. Are you filming? Yeah. Are you posting on YouTube? Still twitchy. Thought it would help that a little bit, but it hasn't really, which is kind of cool. It like wants to shoot out from under you. Definitely feels like I'm going faster in uh, each gear. But I haven't been on this bike in a while, so. Hey, can I just stay here? Huh? Can I just stay here? Yeah, I gotta run up and down the road. Can I just stay here? Yes. Okay, hopefully this thing works while it's in my pocket. I forgot I didn't put a mount on this yet. <laughs> stay here. Seventy-three, sixty-seven. I gained five miles an hour, eight, six miles an hour. That's pretty good. Uh, if I raise the rev limiter, that's probably my next step to get higher. That's pretty good. Technically, I could run on the highway, but I'm not really interested in that. Not on this thing. <laughs> Seventy-three. I'll hold it while you're going. Okay, it's be right next to me the whole time. 
I'll be right behind you. What's your problem? I can post this video on YouTube. I don't know. Can you? You can with me in it. And you say, okay, well, AMS top speed was 38, and about the wind was blowing on around, so it's still going a little faster. But, yeah, it's pretty fast for a little 70 degree difference. Yeah, great. Yep, so that's it, kids. Here's the moto van, by the way. Working on it. All-wheel drive, bitches. I got I know what it looks like in my head. It's just a matter of doing it, which won't be too bad. That'll be pretty cool. I hope to get some miles out of that thing. But that's the YCF. Honestly, if you think you're about buying one, buy one. God damn, they're so fun for a Mini with such a... It's a 190, and it comes that way. It's like stock shit, dude. You don't even have to, like, do anything to it and look, except fix those sprockets. Jesus, I'm already down to 30... What did I say? 35? 35, 18? Yeah, 35, 18 and it got up to 73. That was just a quick run. I might be able to get it, get it higher once the cutout, which I think is their limiter. So I can mess around with that and uh, see what it does. But yeah, seriously, if you like this kind of content, give me a subscribe. If you liked anything about this, please give a like. It helps the channel tremendously more than you, than you would think. Might have some more content on the Aprilia, but uh, mainly Grom rides and working on this dumb stuff. Oh, I added, uh, forgot about it. I added the catch can, which is a huge fucking deal with these things. It just blows oil otherwise. They're so fucking dumb. But uh, yeah, thanks. All right, later on, see you in this group ride. Bye.